So this is the TaylorMade 300 Mini driver and it might just be the most accurate driver that I have ever hit. And let me settle this straight away. Yes, I believe this is a driver. It is a smaller club head at 300cc. It's 11.5 degrees of loft, but it can go up to 13 or go down to 10 with the adjustable shaft sleeve. It's about the same length as a three wood. It's only got a 65 stiff shaft in here. So maybe slightly softer than I would normally want. But oh my giddy ant. Look at that. You see that? Do you see that? Everyone saw that. Now this mini driver is engineered to try and get the ball up in the air. There's weight shoved at the back, but because it's got this speed pocket, you can also control the spin on this club head quite well. And it is a little bit of a marketing gimmick by TaylorMade, absolutely. But it is also <laughs> really, really good. I love the way it looks. I love the way it sits behind the ball. 2021 USPGA champion Phil Mickelson also has a mini driver in the bag which he calls a two wood. And my line is basically, the back of the range, there's a couple of floodlights. They're only about 10, 15 yards apart and I'm, I'm just splitting them. The question for this type of club is, is it gonna be easier for the general golfer to use than a driver if you are struggling to get the ball off the tee? And it was a couple of years ago now, I actually reviewed the TaylorMade Mini One driver. And again, that was more of a marketing gimmick, but I remember at the time like, really enjoying using it. And these are a limited edition club. There's gonna be a lot of pro shops, there's gonna be a lot of places online where you're just simply not gonna be able to get this. But I think that's a shame. I really do, because this is just awesome. On the course, let's see how many fairways we can hit. So I think there's gonna be seven holes where I'm gonna be using mini driver. I don't know, get down into those comments below. How many do you think I'll hit? The fairways here are yes on the back nine. Pretty wide, I'm feeling confident. I should have said that after I hit this first tee shot. Right, so it's teed up again, just above the equator line. Jacob, talk to me. What's that out of one? Damn skippy it is. Now this is a limited edition driver from TaylorMade, obviously celebrating the legacy of previous iterations of their drivers. However, I kind of thought, and they'd be forgiven if they made it a little bit more simple, but they haven't. They've actually packed a fair bit of stuff into this. It's got the shaft sleeve to adjust the loft. It's got the speed pocket just behind the face for a little bit of extra ball speed. It's got the twist face, again, you know, if you're into that kind of thing. The actual top of the club though, the finish is absolutely awesome with the carbon. I think TaylorMade are still probably my favorite as far as being able to blend carbon into titanium and make the top of a club head just look awesome. I might be a bit of a fanboy of that, but I'm gonna let myself off because it does look great. So I hit an amazing tee shot on that first. I just got unlucky, that bunker just, like, just jumped out of nowhere, really. This might be mini driver off the tee, mini driver off the deck here, well, if I find the fairway. Which, of course I will do. Oh my, how good did that sound, by the way? I hope that's not run out of fairway again. It's just a beast. It's like an absolute, it, it sounds so, so strong, so powerful. I'll tell you what, this hole was uh, 560. I've got 260 left in. I've ran through the fairway again. So zero out of two fairways, but I've actually hit two like really good tee shots. I need to start bushing in a few of these fairways, but ball sat up okay. That's why. Flight is unreal. It was obviously nice on the range, but here on the course, even better. I said it before on that tee, but the sound and the feel of this they're not like a normal driver. So certainly with my normal TaylorMade, it's more of a dead feeling and like a really powerful sound. This is quite similar, but it doesn't have that same spring. It just feels like you're just munching it. It feels more like an older driver. And I know that's what they're trying to celebrate here. I think they've actually done a really good job of it.
Ball speed up at 163, fantastic. Spin rate about 3000, which is higher than a normal driver, but lower than the three wood. It is sitting in that kind of two wood gap. Carry on average about 265 yards, although the last shot here was 274 yards carry. Ball speed on that was at 172. So that's using Callaway range balls. It is nice and warm here, but that's amazing. So super accurate for me, really good on distance. Spin race control really nicely and forgiving. But ladies and gentlemen, it's not just about me and how I hit it. It's about how your normal golfer would also strike this because yes, it's a great distance and accuracy machine. But again, if you are struggling off the tee, is this a club which will suit you? Let's find out who should we get? So this is Jacob, my uh, cameraman and videographer. And tonight we're gonna to put him through his paces with the mini driver. Jacob, mm -hmm. off the tee, I'd say you're okay. Tendency to hit it a bit right and- Yeah, well, that's that's the tendency, just you've seen that. Bit right, and a little bit, right. bit toey. Yeah. Sometimes comes off the top. Yeah. And like drastically <laughs> lacking in distance. <laughs> yeah. I think that's, that's yeah, the main that thing. that sums it up. Is it like three matches running, you beat everybody now. Yeah. So he's obviously doing something right. Yeah. So what we're gonna do, 10 drivers, Whack them down there. Mm -hmm. Let me see what you got. So you got your target line in between those two. The two, yeah, tightest together. The yeah. two close to the lights, yeah. yeah. I just want your general opinions, your thoughts, your feelings on the Mini Driver, how it looks, how it performs. So I mean, good. straight away, three wood shaft, yeah? Yeah, so three wood length shaft. Yeah. Automatically, I can see how that could be a little bit more controllable for me. Okay. Um, but just whack one away, I guess. And Mate, absolutely. Hey, listen, you've, you've filmed enough of these to know the drill by now. That's true, yeah. I know what I'm you doing. You hit the shot, you hold your finish. That is very, very true. Will allow me to get my shadow slightly out of the way. That's kind of one of the ones I wanted to see, because that was really that's necky. That, yeah, very necky, yeah. See, that's quite good, because some of the other shots you've hit quite well. Yeah. That was really necky, but that only dropped two miles an hour of ball speed compared to your last shot. And that was right off the heel. Yeah, yeah. And the one before was a decent try, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Done something right. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I really do like it. I think uh, you touched upon it, how tailor-made do that shift from carbon to titanium. Mm. Really, really nice. I've got a tailor-made driver, so I think I'm used to that Ah, look. right, okay. So you're already a bit of a fanboy there. Yeah, oh, but so are you, so. True. <laughs> Should have found someone with a Honda Beres. Not many of them looking. No, down. there's not many to be honest. Even though I think this mini driver is great, this is not a cure your slice driver. I think this is a struggling with a proper full length, low lofted driver. This might be good for you, but if you're struggling with a slice, listen, it's not a miracle worker. So your average carry distance there was 184. Now, what would you say you normally hit in your driver? Uh, I'm usually looking, good strike, 230. 230. Kind of is my usual, yeah. Okay, so we're definitely down, obviously, on that kind of distance. Mm. That one off the heel was really interesting, the fact it dropped, like, literally no ball speed. Offline, obviously, quite consistently to the right. That's mm -hmm. something that we're going to see with your swing anyway. Yeah. But overall, like, what are you, what are you thinking? What are you feeling? I kind of, I don't know if I want to love it because I, I like the idea of it. Um, Mate, you can't fall in love with the idea of something. Well, exactly, that's what yeah. I mean. That's what I say, I, I want to. I wanted like to dish out life advice, but like, you've <laughs> got to just take it on its merits. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah, no, I, um, I like the look. Aesthetically, I think it's great. It's just where, for, even for me, where does it go? Because for the distance I hit my driver, I can't lose that distance really. Mm. Oh, that's how I feel anyway. I, I don't think I could drop down to that off the tee. If that was all of a sudden finding a lot more fairways for me, then I might start to think about it a little bit more, but that's not clearly showing, you know, it's like you say, it's not gonna fix my slice or anything like that. Is this the type of distance you'd be looking at with a three wood anyway? Further. Further I'd probably, I'd probably hit a three wood 200. Right, okay. So, I mean, I, I, I don't think I've absolutely pured any of them completely. No. You know, I don't, you know, <laughs> it losing half its distance going right is probably not the best thing in the world. But yeah, I, I mean, if anything, it's a little bit off my three wood okay. from, what I've, from what my numbers show. So yeah. Sounds like you've fallen out of love with it already. <laughs> that was quick, wasn't it? So fickle. Kids nowadays. I know. Just don't put any, you know, time into a relationship. I'm kind of thinking that this needs to go just over the right of the bunker. I've got that vibe. I've not zapped it again, but it looks definitely mini drivable. I'm going to aim at that just with a slight cut. 
Wow. Like, seriously? How good is that? I'm liking it the more and more I hit it. So 300 yards, water, just general death on the right hand side, bunkers left. This is very much a layup hole, if you didn't have a mini driver. But fortunately I do, and therefore I'm gonna go straight at it. If it comes to the left, it comes to the left. I'm gonna to have to carry those front bunkers, pitch onto the down slope. This hits the green, it counts as two fairways. I don't make the rules. I'll give you that. I don't make the rules. I don't make them. Get in the hole. Straight down it. I've literally split, yeah. the, split the flagstick. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. That is on the green by one, two, three yards. Is that the pitch mark? So the line on this, Jacob, line on this, there's a building over there. Got a big horse on it. I want to land it right on the main. Jacob, where's that landing, mate? Right on the main, up Main Street, oh, 290. This is quite the hole, isn't it? Look at this. So this is off the forward tee, it's like 370 off the back. So it's always gonna be a layup to the right hand side. But today with mini driver off the front, wind off the left. So I've got to start it out over the water. There's only one thing for it. If I hit the green on this one, this is worth six fairways, which would put us at maybe, I don't know, like eight out of six fairways or something. It makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, always makes sense. Oh my Bit God. high on the face, it's right on mine. Oh! <laughs> oh, I think that's me done. Oh, what a day. Well, this might be uh, the last hole with my beloved. Maybe you should stick it in the bag. Take the two iron out, stick this in. Too long. Yeah, too, too long? long yeah. Should I put it in the bag? Get in those comments. Right, par five. Might be driver and then driver off the deck again if I get it in the fairway. I'm going to aim at just the edge of that middle fairway bunker. This fairway looks about 50 million yards wide. I mean, I'm going to go down the left-hand fairway because I think that's a shorter line in. Sounds and feels so good. It's just, a, it's, just, it's just a shame the bottom of it's minging. That's horrible, isn't it? Yeah, so tacky. 265 yards left in, over water. What a finishing hole this is. Oh my God, when the Abu Dhabi Championships is here, it's going to be absolutely insane. I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to end by hitting the green. Oh, it's come off a bit low and right. Get over. Yeah, I'm just laying up on this hole. Even when it's it bad, it just goes into a perfect layup spot. Can't do anything about it. Let's see if we can get a birdie with this mini driver. A little chip and run. Pin eye. Sign of quality ball striking. I've got to be honest, this is maybe the most fun I've had with a new club in ages. This has been so good. Honestly, I've really, really enjoyed this. It might not be for everybody, but the difficulty is on this. Like, where would it fit in the bag? Like, it's too long for my three wood, so I'd have to take out a two iron. It's, it's almost a two wood. I know that's what Phil Mickelson uses his mini driver as, and he's all right. 